Hello everyone, it's Dalton here, and you're watching Video Game Finds number 103. Now this time, we got a pretty good amount of stuff here. It's not as much as the last video, um, but it's the same kind of deal as where most, actually I think all of this stuff was from thrift store finds once again, uh, which is really exciting to see that kind of stuff come through like constantly like that, especially this time of year. It's really cool. So without further ado, let's get started with it. All right, first thing we got here, so we've got a fat PS2 console here that's never been opened up, which is really nice shape. Uh, this was $15. It came from uh, our local Goodwill, I believe. I picked it up during the middle of the week, uh, a few weeks back. Uh, so it wasn't a weekend find. It was more of during the middle of the week. It was just like one of those uh, blind finds, you know, one of those drive-by, go in real quick, see if they have anything kind of deals. And that was cool. So that was in there. And it came with uh, an official PS2 controller there. It doesn't work, unfortunately. That's why I, I uh, marked it there. But there's that. And it also came with the power cord. No AVs, but I've got plenty of those, so that's not a big deal. And it also came with a game. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that so you guys can see what was inside the console. Alright, so here is the PS2 that I got from Goodwill. So first we're going to go ahead and turn it on and see if it powers on. And it does, so that's a good start. So now we'll go ahead and see if there's a game inside of it. Oh wow, this is a really nice PS2. It hasn't even been used that much because the fan's not even on. And there is something inside. It had Quake 3 Revolution in it, which, that's pretty cool. Um, it's got a few outer surface ring scratches and stuff, but other than that, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, but that's pretty cool. It's a nice bonus game at least, so very cool. This looks like a really nice PS2, so that's really exciting. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and head back to the main video. Alright, so this is pretty cool. It's a, There it is, Quake 3. Um, but unfortunately, upon further analysis, this actually does not read correctly, if at all. Um, those scratches and you know marks that I thought were just basic are actually laser burns, and it's not going to be repairable, uh, just because that goes deep into the data of the disc, and that destroys the actual data on the disc. So, unfortunately, I can't do anything with this, so after this video, it's pretty much just going to be tossed. Um, but it was not that big a deal. I mean, it was just a bonus game. Uh, it does suck though, because that was a pretty. It looked like it would have been a pretty good game. So, but anyway, not too big of a loss. But anyway, also during that same day when I found that PS2, I found a copy of Wii Sports, and it's missing the manual, but it has the disc in there, which is nice. And um, I was being, you know, when I was buying, when I was paying, the clerk was actually the store manager, and he just let me have this. He's like, you can just take that with. I don't want to price it, it doesn't have a sticker on it or anything, so he just gave it to me, so I figured for free I'll take a Wii Sports, I mean, normally their games like this, like their CDs and stuff are like 99 cents, so I mean, it was, you know, but really, to get a free one, that's, that's cool, so I wasn't really upset or anything with that, I mean, you can't go wrong with free stuff, that's cool, so, alright, and then that following weekend, I went with Tyler again, and we went to our local ARC or Goodwill, and then, you know, the other Goodwill and ARC and stuff like that, so... This stuff right here came from our local art thrift store, which is pretty cool. We have here a console-only PlayStation 1 first model. Uh, I paid $6.50 for this, um, which is not bad at all. I have the cords and controllers and stuff for this, so that's not a big deal. So there's that. But it actually came with a simulation mode of Gran Turismo 2, which is really cool. Uh, so that, I can basically say I paid $0.50 cents for that and then $6 for the console. So that was really cool. I thought that was awesome. Uh, and also at the same place, at that same arc, I found an Xbox here. First model, a regular, you know, original model Xbox, not a 360 or anything. Um, but, you know, I thought that was a good deal. Uh, it was $12.50, it was going to be $25, but it was half off, so good deals for sure. Um, that was really cool, and it's in really, really nice shape too, uh, which is really exciting. And it came with, uh, here we are, it came with two controllers. Both of them are official, and they both have the breakaways on them, which is nice. So there's those. Then it also had an extra breakaway in there, which is really nice. I always need these, so that was good. And it came with both cords. So this was a really well taken care of Xbox. And once again, this console also had a bonus game inside. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that clip so you can check that out. Alright, so here is the Xbox that we got from ARC. So first we're going to go ahead and see if it powers on. It does. That's a good start. So now we'll go ahead and see if there's a game or something inside. 
there is. It's the Avatar The Last Airbender. And the disc is a little scratched, but it's not terrible. That's pretty cool, though. Um, I think that's about a 6 or $7 game, so... Um, I think we've played it once before. It was a pretty good game. It's not terrible, so... Very cool. So there's a bonus game there, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now we'll head back to the main video. Alright, guys. So there's the game. It's Avatar Last Airbender. I actually had an empty case and manual for this game, uh, but there it is. It worked fine. It was great, so... Uh, that was a cool little bonus throw-in game, so at least I had a use for this case and manual then, at least, so that's cool. So there's that. Very, very cool. Alright, and then we went back, after we went to ARC, we went to Goodwill, which is the one that you, where we got that PS2 that I just showed you. Um, anyways, they had a couple things too, which was really nice. They had another original Xbox, which is really nice. Was, this was just console only, and it was uh, 10 bucks. Um, this one's not nearly as nice as the other one I just showed you, um, but still really cool that they had an Xbox. Um, but again, that one also had a bonus game, so we'll go ahead and show that clip right now as well. Alright, so here is the Xbox we got from Goodwill. So first we're going to go ahead and see if it powers on. It does. Now we'll go ahead and see if there's something inside. And there is. It's Spider-Man 2. Which is actually a pretty good game. It's a little scratched, but again, not terrible condition. It's better than the first Spider-Man, so that's really good. So very cool. So there was a bonus game in there. That's pretty exciting. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and head back to the main video. Alright, so there's the game. Spider-Man 2. It was a little scratched up, but it worked fine. I mean, it was you know still playable and everything, so that was really cool. Um, that Xbox uh, has a bad disk drive unless there's a game in it. It opens and closes, but without a game in there, it's stuck. So it's got weak gears and stuff, so... Um, but if you get, as long as the game stays in there or something, then it, it works fine. Um, but that was pretty cool to get that for 10 bucks. It's not a bad deal at all. Oh, real quick, before I move on to the Any More Goodwill stuff, this stuff was also found at ARC with the PS1 and all that. Uh, but they had two PS2 controllers, an Oceanic Blue and the Charcoal Black one. Unfortunately, both of these somehow don't work right. So, uh, But they were only 2 bucks a piece, so that's not that big a deal. Uh, they also had um, two Super Nintendo controllers there. One of the original models and then one of the later ones. Uh, both are Nintendo brand. This one unfortunately doesn't work, but that's basically because it's probably a late model and it's kind of, you know, not really much effort put into it to make it, so it's not working right anyway. But the original one works here, which is good, so uh, they were five bucks a piece, so I kind of took a hit on that one that doesn't work, um, but I can't really complain. At least one of them worked, so that's cool. And then they also had a Jet Black official Nintendo GameCube controller for $5 which I will definitely pick up any day. So that's really cool. So those were cool little bonuses as well that I, that we found there as, as the same time we found the Xbox and the PS1. All right, now back to Goodwill stuff. All right, along with that Xbox from Goodwill, they also had a fat PS2 console. Uh, and again, this one hasn't been opened either, which is awesome. This one's in very good shape as well. This one was 20 bucks, um, which, you know, I don't want to pay much more than 20 for a PS2 just because... Um, after that, you know, they're not, I, I won't be making as much when I sell them and stuff like that, so it's not really worth it to me after that. Um, but that console came with both AVs and power cords, so that's good. Uh, no controller, unfortunately, but they did have an extra one that I ended up paying $2 more for, so there was that. So, and this one works, which is good, so that's, that's always nice, so I'll go ahead and put that controller with it. But there was also a bonus game in that console as well. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that clip and you guys can see what that game was. Alright, so here's the PS2 that we got from Goodwill. So first we're going to go ahead and switch it on see if it powers up. And it does, that's a good start. So now we'll go ahead and see if there's something inside. And there is. It's a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas which is actually really cool. That's really good. It's in pretty good shape. It's got some light scratching and stuff to it. Um, but that's definitely a good bonus game because I usually sell the PS2s with the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, so that's awesome that that was in there. So that's very cool. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and head back to the main video. Alright guys, so there it is. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And again, I had an empty case and manual for this game as well, so there's the game. Now we have a complete one. It's just missing the poster map. Um, but still, that's really cool that there was a bonus San Andreas in there, which is a uh, usually what I sell the PS2s with. I put you know the GTA trilogy with the PS2s, and they usually sell pretty quick. So that's 
that was good that I got another copy of San Andreas. That always helps out. So that's really cool. All right, and then from that same Goodwill, we also found a really, really, you know, rough PS3 controller. Uh, the thumbsticks are chewed off. Uh, it's got a rattle in it. It does not work, which was to be expected. But again, they let us, you know, it got another a free item. They let us have this because, you know, they just looked at it and they're like, we shouldn't have even priced it. Should have probably just thrown it away. But they just gave it to us, so I'll either scrap it for button parts or sell it as a parts controller or throw it away. I'm not sure yet, um, but it was free, so it's not the end of the world. So that's, I guess, a little bonus. Um, and then they also had three PS2 games that we picked up. Uh, they had two copies of GTA 3. Both of these are complete with the manuals and the posters, so that's really cool. Those were $2 each. And then they also had an NBA Street Volume 2 which is actually a really good one to sell. It, it's a really fun game. I love this game. Um, but it's actually a pretty high-priced game because of how good it is. Um, but this one is also 100% complete, and the disc looks amazing. So that was really cool to see that in there. This is a really good game. And it sells really quick, too, because it's such a good game. So that was really cool to see that. So that's cool. All right, and then we went to a different Goodwill, and this was the last amount of stuff that we found that uh, during that weekend. Um, but they had... An original Xbox controller, again, the S model, um, and this one had a breakaway, which is nice. So I've, in total, the last two videos, I think I've gotten, like, ten of these controllers, which is crazy. I remember, like, a year ago, I wouldn't see one Xbox controller anywhere, and now I just keep finding them everywhere. Well, it's, it's perfect, because I need them, so they're, they're always good to have. Um, but also, with that Xbox controller, we found a copy of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge on Xbox, which is actually a really fun game. This one is complete. It actually holds a little bit of value, so that was really cool to see this there. Um, and this was only two bucks, so that was really really cool. We have this on PS2, but we just have the disc. So, but at least if we want to play it, we can play it. So um, Tyler loves it. He thinks it's a really fun game. It's really really cool. It's one of those roam around 3D kind of games, uh, action adventure, you know. So it's really cool. It's definitely an awesome game if you guys like that kind of stuff. It's a really fun game. So, all right, and then after that weekend, I went on a Wednesday. And this was, you know, it's just random. It was in the middle of the week. I went on a Wednesday because I had to go up to my college campus uh, to pick up my diploma cover for my, you know, my, to my diploma. They sent it to me in the mail, but they didn't send the cover. Um, so I had to go up to my campus to get that. And the Goodwill that I usually go to ne is literally right next to that campus. So um, I was glad I went that day because I found some pretty cool stuff and the main reason for the title of this video. So... When I walked in, I was not expecting to see this, guys. I had not seen one of these in a thrift store in literally four years. Four years, guys. It was incredible. Um, but, you know, I'll tell the story of it anyway. But I found an NES console right there. Really nice shape. Really clean, especially now, because I cleaned it up. It was a little dirty. Uh, it didn't come with anything but the RF switch. Um, it was $12.50, which, believe me, I could not believe it. Uh, it was 25 but I had a half-off coupon that I used on it. Um, but unfortunately, the motherboard on this thing is fried. I tried two different pin connectors in it, and it just, you know, different cords, different everything. It just will not load a game, no matter what I do. Uh, so unfortunately, this one's pretty much finished. Um, of course, right, you know, the first time I see an NES at a Goodwill for, you know, in four years, and it doesn't work on me. And this is the first time I've actually found an NES that doesn't work like that. I've never come across an NES that has a fried motherboard. Um, I mean, pin connectors maybe, or, you know, bad power output on the back, or the door do or the uh, tray doesn't stay down, something. But I've never come across one that's just doesn't work at all like that. But, I mean, I could still sell it for parts, but, I mean, I just, I wish it would have worked, because that was such a cool thing to see. I had never believed in a million years that I'd ever again see an N NES at a, at a Goodwill. I just didn't believe it. But, I mean, it was there. It just, unfortunately, you know, doesn't work. But, Anyway, not the end of the world, so maybe one day I'll find another one. I know they, that it still happens, then, at least. At least it's, they still come through, so it's okay. Anyway, found a PS2 game there at the same time. Um, we're going to keep this one because we don't have it, and uh, that is Worms 3D, and it is complete, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, this was a $2 game once again, which is really cool. And then, along with the NES, I found another fat PS2 console here. Um, this one was actually only $9. It was $8.99, which is really cool. And uh, this one hadn't been opened up before either, which is really cool. Um, 
that usually means good things. You know, it's usually when they've been open, they have problems or something. Someone had to open it for some reason. Um, no cords, but it did come with a controller, official controller. It's missing the thumb pads, um, but still works fine, which is really cool. I still don't mind if it if it works, it works. Um, so I got plenty of cords. I can just put them together with that, you know, later on. Um, but this console as well also had a game inside it, so we'll go ahead and switch over to that video clip so you guys can see what was inside the console. Alright guys, so here is that PS2 that I got from a separate Goodwill trip. So first we're going to go ahead and see if it powers on. Which it does, so that's a good start. So now we'll go ahead and see if there's something inside. And there is. That's pretty cool. We got a Grand Theft Auto Vice City in there, and it looks almost brand new, which is really nice. Uh, that's funny because the last PS2 we just picked up had a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in it, so very, very cool. So that's a good bonus disc in there. So awesome. All right, now we'll go ahead and switch back to the main video. All right, guys. So there it is. It's a Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which I thought was actually really, really funny because the P the previous PS2 we picked up had a San Andreas in it. Uh, so and then this one had a Vice City, so that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I didn't have an empty case and manual for this game, but that's okay. It's still the game. It still works. It was and it's basically brand new, which is really cool. So I thought that was a a really good bonus. Nine dollars for all that. That's a really good deal. Definitely not going to pass that up. So, all right. And then on my way home, I decided to hit my local Goodwill that's close to my house before I went home that same day. And I'm glad I did because I had one half off coupon for that Goodwill as well. And I ended up finding a nice Nintendo Wii, which is really cool. This one actually has uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 downloaded on it, which is really cool. Uh, now, since uh, Nintendo's closing the eShop, pretty soon you won't be able to actually buy those games or anything anymore. So maybe, I'm hoping, I'm thinking anyway, that Nintendo Wiis that have downloaded games on them that were purchased in the eShop will be worth more money. Um, I'm not sure, but that might be a possibility. Anyway, I thought it was cool I had Mario 3 on it. But anyways, it came with all the stuff except for a nunchuck. It has the uh, Wiimote there, it has the uh, Power Brick AVs, and the sensor bar. I just need to put a nunchuck with it, and then it's a complete 100% Wii. And this one also had a bonus game in it, so we'll go ahead and switch over to that clip as well, so you guys can see what that bonus game was. Alright guys, so here is the Wii that I picked up from Goodwill. So let's go ahead and see if there's something inside. We're going to go ahead and power it on. Doesn't sound like it's a very good Wii, but it has a copy of Mario Kart Wii in there, which is really awesome. Um, that's a bonus. I don't know if the Wii's going to work or not. It sounds like it's making some weird, funky sounds, but it had a copy of Mario Kart Wii in there, which is in really nice shape. Just a couple fingerprints right there, but that is really, really cool. So, uh, regardless if the Wii works or not, I'm still content with the Mario Kart Wii inside of it. So, very cool. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and kick it back to the main video. Alright guys, here it is. It's a Mario Kart Wii, which I thought was an absolute awesome bonus. Um, very nice disc too, I cleaned it up, it has no smudges or anything on it now. Very cool to see a bonus game like that in there, that was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, they had two Wiis at that Goodwill. I picked one over the other because this one had all the stuff with it, while the other one was missing a sensor bar and I think the AVs. So I picked the one, of course, that would have more of the stuff with it for the same price. And in total, I paid $22 after tax for that Wii. Um, so I wanted to make sure if I were going to buy one, I was going to buy the one that was complete. And that was just, you know, a good choice because it had the bonus game in it, which was really cool. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends. It really helps us out. Really glad to see you guys come back every single video and see what we have new to share with you guys. It's really exciting, really fun, and I just love doing it. And I will hopefully try to get more stuff for you guys and get another video out soon. Um, sorry that they're not as frequent as they used to be. It's just life is becoming, you know, more adult. You know, I'm becoming an adult now. You know, I'm out of college and, you know, life's just becoming real now. So I just got to, you know, kind of balance it as much as I can. So thank you guys for sticking with us so much. I love it. I love that you guys are still here and everything. It's really cool. Thank you guys. Hopefully, hopefully you know, if you're going to go out and game hunt, you're going to find stuff. Find it good, because it's out there. It still happens, guys, every single day. Just don't hit, just don't miss out on Goodwills and stuff. That's just all I can say. It's still there. So, anyways, happy gaming, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Yeah, yeah let's go.
I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star.